Well, good morning, guys. I hope you're all good. I uh, got this potted up this morning, the uh, Catlia Perseviliana Cerulea. Now, being as my cars broke down, I didn't have any way of uh, uh, really going and getting potting media. And I read on the uh, American Orchid Society that this guy likes to be potted in, like, lava rock, and a lot of people grow it in lava rock. Um, so, basically, with the car broke down... I'm not going to walk, the, the place is right down the street, but I just didn't feel like walking down the street with a big five gallon bucket of lava rock. Um, that's a little kind of heavy. So uh, what happened a couple years ago is my dog knocked over a table that I was growing cactus on and nearly every pot that was on it broke and smashed a cactus. And anyway, we're going to replace those cacti this summer. Um, this is the year for cacti, yes. Anyway, uh, what we're doing, what we did was I busted it up even some more and poured boiling water over it and, uh, yeah, uh, cleaned it up a bit and um, threw it in the pot with that. And I figured, well, you know, this terracotta busted up pot will work. It'll work good. Um, and it's not going to degrade any. And anyway, after I got it... Uh, potted up I sprayed it with some of this stuff this is basically uh, grapefruit seed extract uh, one teaspoon per quart of water um, it kills off aphids mealybugs scale spider mites also a microbial antimicrobial and fungicide um, works great been using it for about oh three months now and I have no bugs whatsoever on anything. So all aphids are gone, dead, bye bye. Uh, same way with mealybugs. I was having a little bit of issue with mealybugs and scale. Um, they're all gone. Yep, sayonara. <laughs> oh, I see something fell over in the wind. I guess I'm going to have to pick that up. The ac new acacia tree fell over. So anyway, um, now that we got that taken care of and situated, um, I got buds coming, little nubbies on some plants, and a first-time bloomer. So let me go pick up this uh, acacia tree. I'm going to have to repot that into a larger pot because it's so top-heavy. Um, I'll probably do that today. But anyway, for right now, let me take care of this tree. And then what we're going to do is check out the, um, the uh, new buds coming. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can see uh, little buds forming here. All over that one. Some down here. Um, and it'll keep continuing to uh, toss out more and more buds as time goes. Because this usually blooms all around the end of January, February-ish. And I've had this for going on about oh, 15, 16 years now. And it has looked everywhere from battered to beautiful um, it's, it's a pretty little guy I like it um, the color is white with uh, pink tips and uh, very very fragrant that's one reason why I got it I just walked past it and I was like whoa um, you're pretty fragrant so yeah you're coming home <laughs> and uh, like I said though it has looked everywhere from battered to beautiful and uh, we've got it looking a little up better a whole lot better this year um, and we'll continue to because now I'm retired I've got a whole lot more time to spend with my plants another cool thing that happened just overnight is that this okay I'm gonna try and pronounce this again Sishwinefia shihanii um, when it came in yesterday, it was very, very, very dry. Just overnight, it's perked up quite a bit after being rehydrated. So, uh, I'm excited to see that bloom. I think it's just a cute little guy. Um, a new bloomer, let me move this out of the way, is that. Yeah, I was growing this all wrong. I uh, wasn't given it enough water. Um, this is Catlia luteola. See, there's a bloom coming down in this growth. So, yeah, this is Catlia luteola. I wasn't giving it enough water or enough light. Um, those pseudobulbs were more shriveled and wrinkled than an old politician. And, uh, yeah, 
so now you can see they're plump and full of life and vigor and this is going to continue to be that way because now you know I've, I've started actually doing the research that it takes to grow these orchids same way with this um, I didn't really give you much info on this guy the Sichuanfia shihanii um, that's actually from Colombia it's a cool to intermediate grower so that means that I will have to give it some summer protection from the heat here um, and it likes to grow moist uh, what else uh, it's a medium to small sized uh, epiphyte whatever but uh, it sounds more like they grow like in the media that this is what it same stuff I use for bubble films so uh, yeah um, I think it's gonna do pretty good and I really like the flowers I think they're just cute a cute color scheme with the green the yellow and the mahogany colors on it so uh, yeah not much else going on we're not gonna really cut the spikes off of the uh, Bretonia because they bloom more as they extend so other than that guys um, yeah um, not much going on and if anything develops I will give you guys a holler anyway you guys have an awesome day get out in your gardens and make beautiful things happen love and peace bye bye